North Carolina. <laughs> we needed this. You just don't. <laughs> well, part of, part your of name. my response is that. Um, your, my, your name, I gotta oh, come there to see you. Marie Cochran. Hey, Marie. And I'm also an Afrolaction, uh, by the way. <laughs> I'm North Georgia. Um, we'll talk about that term later, but I think part of what I came to hear is that salve in response to the backlash. Because you sort of touched on that. That's some of the theme that's come up. And I know that you um, are drawing very much on your Buddhist um, inclinations. I don't know how to best describe it. Because I read this wonderful thing that you wrote in the Berea or Appalachian Studies Journal, now that you've returned to Kentucky and you're at Berea. But um, for those of us who are weary, because we are experiencing a huge backlash as far as progressive thinking is concerned. Um, especially, we'll just start with the classroom because there's all these other. How, how are you finding it um, from hearing from the, your other colleagues who may not be rock stars? <laughs> who may not have lots of published books because as, as it was previously mentioned, you know, we're dealing with this reaction that's you know, a negative response. And then okay, sometimes okay. we're not supported in the way that we would like to in the places where we work. Hallelujah. That, <laughs> that actually is true for me too. Sarah, do you yeah. know that song, Walk Together, Children? No. Walk together, children. Talk oh, together, children. Somebody else knows, Shirley. Don't you give me the readers a great candy. I didn't grow up in the church. No. Huh? You know, I didn't grow up in the church. So. Uh, of the church come from other places. Sarah will be performing tonight at Zuka Joe's. Joe's. Um, the reason I, I, I say that is, you know what? I don't feel respected. I teach at a Christian college, and my I, I sort of devise what I want. And this past year, my big theme was, is God a feminist? And of course, I began my, um, you know, lectures with a little bell who's joke. Well, of course God is a feminist, and I'm so glad because no one else wants to be. And I think, <laughs> you know, but I think that, you know, I, I guess when you talk about what, for me, spirituality comes up more in this part of my life at 57 because of the despair that surrounds me and, and because my students who are at the heart of my work and my inspiration want to know, you know, how are you surviving? How are you holding up your head? And so in a sense, my spirituality had to come out of the closet because the spirituality is what is my place of hope. You know, it is my place of hope uh, to know that there is a connection between me and this universe. Um, all the work that the neuroscientists are doing that, to remind people of what so many writers and spiritual teachers have told us many, many moons ago, um, that there is a plan that operates in the universe. Um, I just finished writing a scathing critique of the new book, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. And for those of you who don't know about that book, she is the black woman whose cells were taken from her at 31 and uh, without her knowledge, and then she died at 31 at Johns Hopkins, and then her cells were shared, and they were the first human cells to thrive outside the body. And they were given the acronym HELA. And some of you may know this book, but what struck me, and this is kind of a tangent, when I read this book, along with several of my feminist colleagues, black women, white women, we felt tremendous sorrow. We felt defeated in many ways, because here was this book, on the bestseller list, where we'd like to see a Velvet's book be someday, <laughs> that was written as if feminism never happened, as if their sexism wasn't really real. And it bugged me that throughout the book, whenever this black woman's family talked about, they didn't find out about the sales until 1970 something, um, she kind of made it seem like, oh, these black people talk about racism, but she kept saying, they say. And I was really struck with how we now inhabit a universe where you can use race and gender, and it can make you famous and bring you lots of money, but it doesn't have to be linked to an anti-racist or an anti-sexist um, you know, way of thinking. 
And what struck me was how so many of the women I knew read this book, which is in many ways an indictment of Western medical systems and the experimentation on poor people, especially black people, black females. And we all felt down. You know, and I I didn't really want to write about this book. I felt like, well, I've already offered the critical thinking and the theory of race and class and gender. But I sat and I wrote for days, and it was interesting to me um, because people kept saying to me, well, where's it going to be published, and what are you going to do with it? And I said, well, I didn't, want, I didn't write it with that. I wrote it with the need to have that other voice, that counter-hegemonic voice. And therein lies my hope. It is not only my voice, but that voice that speaks to the other women who read this book and who felt so disempowered. Like, how could we have done all this work? And people who then, just now, feed off that work as though we never existed. I mean, there would be no interest in this unknown black woman whose history is now coming to light if there had not been a feminist movement, if there had not been a movement for black self-determination. And yet, the book effectively silences the meaning of those movements. And so, and yet, at the same time, we're back to where we begin. The book also gives us wonderful information. We learn things about Henrietta Lacks and cells and DNA. And believe you me, what we, all, many of us learn, when you go to the doctor, your tissue does not belong to you. You know, so that the whole sort of discussion of biomedical ethics, because many of us didn't know that. You know, that when the doctors cut off some piece of you and you think they're throwing it in the waste bin, um, not so evidently for lots of, of, of our body tissues. Cells are a different matter. Okay, 